So I searched around to find the procedure to program this ignition key. I had this new key cut by the dealer. So it's laser cut on both sides and it's supposed to fit the lock cylinder. I haven't tried it yet. And I found conflicting information. One suggested you needed two keys to add a key and the other one suggested you only needed one. So I thought I'd look it up in Identifix here and here it is. It says adding keys without service programming systems in North America except Canada. To initiate this process requires at least that one learn key is available, which I have. The procedure adds keys only. The procedure does not erase previously learned keys. We don't need to erase the previously learned keys because it's completely lost and nobody knows where it is and no chance of ever finding it. it says with the previously learned key, turn the key on, turn it off, remove the key. Within 10 seconds of turning off the ignition, insert the key to be learned into it and turn it on. Simple as that. And then repeat that step if you want to add a third key, fourth key. But adding keys in Canada, Europe, South America, Asia, and the Middle East requires two learn keys to be available. Well, I only have one learn key. So we're going to try the long process. If, this does, if the American process doesn't work, which I expect it won't because this is a Canadian vehicle, we're going to try it and see what happens. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to try the uh, three 10 minute uh, cycles. So I have a previously programmed key in here. Let's visually look at it. It looks correct, the code. So I'm going to turn it on. I've got a battery charger set on this thing at 14 volts flash programming charger. Wait for the security light to go out. Take it out. Put the second key in. Turn it on. It says three keys programmed. Oh, really? Turn it off. Pull it out. Wait a few seconds. Put the key back in. Try and start it. Well, obviously the one key worked on this vehicle, even though I'm in Canada. So that's a bonus. Now we've got to add the remote. We're going to use this uh, Maxi TPMS tool in the uh, accessory mode to check this transmitter. I got a used transmitter from a salvage yard. So I'm pressing the lock button, the unlock button, the start button, and the panic button. So this transmitter is working, so we're going to try to program it to the vehicle now. So I've automatically ID'd the vehicle. We're going to go into uh, where is it? The BCM. It'll be in the body control module. Body control module. Uh, functional tests. Special functions. Program program key fobs. Next available slot. This procedure is only for vehicles with RPO code ATH. Vehicles with ATH need to use without ATH. Well, I'm going to go check the RPO code list on this. At the RPO label in the glove box, it does not have ATH, whatever that is. We'll add vehicles without ATH. Place a vehicle in the learn mode. Simultaneously press and hold the lock and unlock buttons of the selected fob until the parameter display is learned. Okay, let's continue. Collecting data from the vehicle and click learn, press simultaneously hold. Oh, look at that. That was painless. They should all go that good. So it has three fobs learned, one is missing. So we're going to confirm that uh, the remote start function works with this thing and we should be good to go. So I've locked the vehicle. Let's try the car starter. It's a beautiful thing. Well, we'll call this one a wrap, short and sweet.